Well, she is going now. Does this work? <laughs> you cannot <laughs> leave that on your little uh, bundle of joy. Oh no. That's a good way to put it, a bundle of joy. Oh no. It is a bundle of joy. <laughs> You're damn right. I don't think it'll pick me up that far below. Well, throw it in your direction while I figure this out. <laughs> What's up, guys? Um, before we get started today, we'll do kind of like minor introductions, and uh, we don't know what our particular doing with this podcast since this is the first one. So uh, uh, we kind of talked about it a little bit before I hit the play button, but uh, I think we're just going to talk a little about uh, you know how we first met, maybe a little bit of our like kind of life, and then as that kind of podcast progressed, we'll kind of get into more specific stuff of like maybe the Matrix, you know that all that mumbo jumbo. Um, but right now we're going to start with the basics, so uh, before we get into that, this video is sponsored by fucking nobody, <laughs> because we're broke as hell, so enjoy our little mic pieces that we got here, hopefully they work out fantastic. Um, but further ado, my name is Shannon, and alongside me I have Sean, and I believe he, uh, I think it was like what, second, was it second grade, third grade? Second grade? No, sophomore. <laughs> sophomore so here. You are like 10 behind. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of Austin, but uh, Austin's another person that lives here that's also one of our classmates. Maybe he'll be in on a future podcast, but uh, yeah, Sean came into uh, my little small town of 1,000 people, and I think maybe we had 15 people in our class. I think at that my point. old high school had 1,000 people in it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't even remember what season of school you came into. Fall. It was fall? Damn. So that's around basketball season. I don't know if I was dating Erica at that time. Oh, no. And I stole her from you shortly later. <laughs> stole her? I don't know if I... Eh, yeah, that's probably, probably valid. <laughs> later to find out that you dodged, uh, <coughs> dodged a bullet down that lane. I think everyone... Well, not everyone anymore, but most of us dodged the bullet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you missed her a little bit. Come on now. Don't we all? <laughs> uh, but... Now we're bullying. We gotta stop. <laughs> yeah, now we're bullying. But uh, yeah, dang. Seems like ages ago. Now we're twenty six. It's kind of gross. I feel like don't some... make it sound like we're so old. <laughs> I mean, we kind of are old. I mean, just because your knees creak doesn't oh, mean mine do. No. Well, I mean, just I think about it every once in a while. I was like, ten years ago, we were sixteen. <laughs> I think about my mortality a lot. Don't oh, don't worry. No, I'm like you know. Maybe you're like, you know, picking up a nephew from school and the kid's like, how old are you? And you're like, if you say anything above, like, I feel like 18, like, wow, you're old. I saw, you, you ever played Club Penguin as a kid? Oh. Dude, I saw a meme where it was like, it listed out the age groups and it said 18 and older and this penguin is walking with a fucking cane. <laughs> <laughs> 18 is old. <laughs> uh, it made me feel ancient, that's for sure. Oh, Club Penguin. Oh, dude, I, well, that, that was the day. That game was awesome. Making little pizzas, and then that's something you'd play after school. That and I think I played RuneScape. Yeah. Oh, God, mm-hmm. that game was old. Jeez, that was ages ago. My gaming addiction started with Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, Modern Warfare, I got that, remember, I got the Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 customized Xbox, and quick scoping was a thing, and World at War Zombies was a thing. That was a good COD. That was and I feel game. like the CODs generally like got worse. Of course they did. There's absolute garbage now. Well, out there, M- MW2, there was Black Ops? Yeah. Black Ops, then, like, a random off-take one, and then Mono Warfare 3, and then Black Ops 2 or something like that? I don't know. I stopped playing after Black Ops 3, but I don't really remember. Huh. Yeah, I think it kind of, kind of went to crap after. I think it was, like, I don't want to say Ghost. I mean, I Ghost, Ghost wasn't even that good. I remember how disgustingly good I was at Call of Black Ops 3. The dorm room you never left. Never left. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oreo titties. For you guys that don't know, Oreo titties is uh. There was one day in college that uh, I remember Sean bending over to pick up a shirt. And mind you, this is the morning getting the few classes that he did go to. <laughs> yeah, apparently. No, I don't even think so. Because <laughs> he was so fucking, addicted to cod. Fucking as addicted he to anything. He prestiged like a day in a day. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. No way. You can't. You hit like max prestige in like a gross amount of time. Fair. And you were ranked like the top, like what, 50 or 100 or something, capture the flag? Something crazy, yeah. It's fucking gross. Anyway, one day he's bending over to. <laughs> Bro, the chemtrails are out. They're ruining our fucking oh, sunri- no. our sunset. Oh, God. But you're picking up a shirt in a. 
your boobies are uh, hanging down a little low. I'm like, Sean, do you got <laughs> Do your tits hang low? Do they wobble <laughs> to the floor? <laughs> <laughs> and he looked there like, oh, shit, I do. And he threw the Oreo straight into the garbage can. And then I've looked sexy ever since. Oh, God damn. No. Crazy what one negative comment will do. Andrew <laughs> Tate would be so proud. Oh, no. You bullied him into losing weight. That a fucking boy. <laughs> But, yeah, pretty much the years progressed, sports and then college, and then things kind of went off on their own. Little... No, I'm not fucking hitting that. Get that out of here. It's just a cigar. Yeah. Right, what did you try or something stupid? Magical cigar out of my face. <laughs> um, but, yeah, and then here we are. Now we're kind of, like, doing our own little things. and Not doing our own little things. What do you do? Fitness now. Fitness. Yeah, yeah fitness digging your mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, now you do solar panel bullshit now? Yeah. I am a construction worker and build solar arrays. Well, the good days are over of being a little kid and I'll, gaming. I don't know. I'm still a fucking idiot at work sometimes. <laughs> That's what a construction dude is. It's basically adult Legos, right? Jesus, God. Come on, I, I fuck around and just build shit at work all day. It's awesome. Yeah, but your body's not going to be able to maintain that forever, so you're going to have to switch to something eventually. Nah, I'm fucking stronger than you. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. You can lift more, but I stick yeah. to a roof like Spider-Man. How many times do you even go to the gym nowadays, anyway? Two or three times a week only. I try to get three rest days between. Really? Between workouts, yeah. But, bro, my fucking job's a workout. Uh, I shoulder pressed 30 fucking panels today that are yeah, 55 would, pounds a piece. You were going like, to be broken at like 35. I feel like I'm 31 physically, so probably. <laughs> probably. Hey, the nice thing is, this numbs a lot of it. <laughs> How many of our classmates like even... Even what? Do drugs? I think only no, me. No, no. I mean like, I don't even think like much of them even like communicate anymore after. Nope. I talked to Miss Miss Malone. Uh, Everybody's getting fucking married, and that is dauntingly terrifying. What? That everybody's getting married, or oh, I don't want to grow up yet. I mean, <laughs> I ain't asked for this shit. <laughs> Taxes. I mean, Jenna's pregnant now. What? Yeah, she got married. And I'm pretty sure she's pregnant. I think I saw someone on Instagram. She's pregnant now. Good for her. Yeah. Lucky man. Oh, no. <laughs> but, uh, I can't. Mr. Dressler would fucking shoot us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder man. how he's doing now. I haven't seen him since. I, I don't know. My mom gave me his phone number. Why? Just in case I ever want to reach out to him. What does he even, does he even still work at the school or are you retired? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't reached out to him yet. I haven't found the courage. You need courage to work out to, to message Mr. Dressler? I'm usually pretty stoned at the end of the day when it would no, happen. I was like, what is he going to do? Send you to detention? No, I'm just going to be too... At the age of 26. Don't be too paranoid to fucking talk. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't like the over-the-phone shit. I'd rather, rather meet the dude in person again. You know what I mean? Yeah. I haven't seen a lot of people actually know anything about it. The plan is right now is I'll be here till next June. And if all goes well with the mess, we'll be in foreign lands, foreign countries. Not in ones I'd want to be in. Fuck that shit. Why? What's wrong with Germany? So one of the, I think it's one of the, the places to live in the other side. Like Switzerland, Germany, I think those are kind of the top places to be in mm -hmm. when you're on the other side of the water. The ones with some of the greatest push and pull in the World Economic Forum. Of okay, because are, the, of course the U.S. Are the is doing so well right now. I don't know. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Mister, oh, in about two years, everything's going to go to crap and bang, bang, boom, boom. Cardi is crap. Um, no, no, no. I'm just saying I wouldn't go to a country that's energy independent on another country that's about to start World War Three. That's all I'm saying. Okay, and to what? What makes you say that? Say that? What do you mean? <laughs> Where are you pulling these magical Germa rainbow Germany facts? Germany has a pipeline that runs directly to Russia, and they purchase like 70 to 80 percent of their natural oil from Russia. So what, are, you, are you trying to say the U.S. is better than No, that? no, are that's not... The, how are you jumping to that? I'm saying... I'm asking I, what the point... Like, I wouldn't move to a country 
that is energy independent on another superpower that is on the brink of causing nuclear World War Three. And the That's US, what I'm saying. The U.S. isn't dependent no, on because another country? You, no, the U.S. is the other superpower about to cause that because the Ukraine war is a proxy war that the U.S. government is funding, backing, supplying, and arming. And fighting. But you're less likely, you're a lot less likely to get nuclear annihilation here than across the pond over less there. Less likely. Less likely. I mean, it's still a very good chance because if one goes off, they all go off. But it's a lot less likely to get hit here than there. You know what I mean? That's just what I think. But I'm an idiot, so what do I know? I feel like if it gets to that point, if one's going off, they're all going off. They are all going off. But that's why I think none of them will go off. Because the good book doesn't say so. Just takes one big red button. (laughs) Dude, did did you ever hear Trump's interview? Where Putin said, uh, Putin, yeah. Putin said, I've got, works. I've got the big, I've got a big red button. He's like, oh yeah, I've got a bigger red button, and mine works. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Chad. Oh no. <sighs> Love him or hate him, that's just funny. I mean, he was pretty savage in office. Mm-hmm. Answer, me, riddle me this. Good entertainment. Who else walked from South Korea over to North Korea? And grab that motherfucker's hand and pull him in like he owns him. Only Trump. I didn't even see that. You didn't see that? No. Dude, he walks across the South Korean border and literally, like, stands face to face with him and just, like, fucking shakes his hand. And, like, like it's like a big dick in handshaking, you know? Because, like, he's, like, this god figure to his people over there. Yeah. And Trump is just, I don't know. No one else could have, could. it's just funny. Is it like the dictatorship where they don't think he poops? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's so many mystical things about him. He invented, like, a bunch of, like, random things, too, that he obviously didn't invent, but he's, like, claimed, like, he's, and his people, like, believe it. Dang. Small world. I mean, it's a, it's a whole different world over there. Yeah, I know, like, if you're a tourist, like, you need a special visa, and, like, you only can do, or go on the tours where they're led. Like, you can't stray from your group, otherwise you risk being in, like, prison or something. Of all the beautiful places to see in the world, how is that on your list to go see right now? Like, I think people like to do it for the thrill of like, oh, I haven't been. Not a lot of people have been here. Risk of not a lot of people make shot, it out either. <laughs> yeah, being shot or thrown in prison. Statistically, not a lot of Americans made it out either. Yeah, I mean, some people like that stuff. I mean, same thing like with skydiving or paragliding. Might not make it out of that. What's the thrill? I might not make it down from our roof every day. That is a thrill. Yeah. See. Yeah. There's you. <sighs> See, dude? Okay, all right. So, that'd be one. See, there. All right, let's take a turn. One of my wishes, if I had a fucking genie, would be a javelin. Because I want to shoot one of them down. So bad. Here you go. What would your first wish be? My mind doesn't even go in that direction. Well, mine does. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say that. Like, I can't, I'm not. It's, it's been so long since, like, if you had a wish, what would it be? Yeah, if you had a wish, what would it be? Mine would be a oh, javelin to no. shoot one of those down. Just well, that would be the happen. first one. Why not? You don't think if one because was... you would get red, big red button if you just started shooting planes out of okay. The sky. Well, then I word in the wish: I want a javelin missile to shoot one of those down. Oh my god! And no repercussions to befall me. My brain cells Bing, are. Bing bada boom. My brain cells are dissipating. I mean, it's I can't compare. Mine already gone. No, oh, no. <laughs> when did you become so OCD about the freaking about what? When I realized that they're poisoning the earth. And trying to kill us all slowly? What do you mean? It's fresh O2. What do you mean? Bro, these retards literally said they want to block out the sun. Yeah, dude, fresh O2. They think the sun is bad and partly causing it global is. warming. Oh, no. We're in trouble. You do realize we need the sun, right? Like, if you block out the sun, we all die. That's just the ice maker. Oh, I was like, Did you even close the door all the way, you dummy? Oh. You fool. Oh, well. You want to complain about the gnats, and then you leave the door open. Two bugs get in your house? Oh, no. That's right. Dude, Austin is What do you mean? It gives gives you fresh O2. The sun gives you O2. I guess theoretically through photosynthesis and all that good stuff? Yeah, I guess technically it does. Yeah. 
It's but fun. so if you block out the sun, what then happens to the photosynthesis process? It still keeps going. It stops dead in this fucking tracks is what happens. It's a rule. It keeps going. It's a rule. Okay. Gravity is a rule too, but sometimes water cancels it out. <laughs> you cancel out the sun. You're going to cancel love, out photosynthesis. I love twisting your gears and just watching you go. It is the most funniest thing I love. <laughs> I, want. I make good points though. Gravity is a law too, but water cancels it out from time to time. I think I remember seeing a meme of this like... She's like not a viral person, but she kind of is. She's like a big <coughs> white chick, and she That's like your type of chick. No, she's like big, big, like not like not healthy, big, and like I think she's known for like talking really fast. But one of the things she's known for is like she thinks like Sir Isaac Newton invented <coughs> invented gravity. <coughs> wait, wait. <laughs> like gravity exists before he existed? Yes, like he invented gravity. Like gravity wasn't a thing before. He said it was. And like, he invented it. She's half right? No, like, she isn't well, half right. Well, gravity yeah. was a thing. It just didn't have a label. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Like, technically, he invented gravity, but, like, the properties no. of gravity And she was saying, existed. like, it wasn't a thing. Gravity wasn't a thing before he invented it. And you say, I lack brain cells? <laughs> well, I was scared there for a minute because you were defending it. And you said she's half right. But she's... then you didn't let me explain. Oh, God. <coughs> so, I mean, we're, we gotta go back to it. What's your first wish from a genie? Come on. To have more time to think about a wish. To have, okay, alright, alright. My second wish. Shit, I wasn't ready either. I'm not you, I'm not wasting my wish on your first one. That was stupid. <laughs> that's not what I would actually spend it on. But I mean, that is what you, that's what you said, so. Kobe. Touchdown Celtics. Um, oh, second no. wish. I wish we weren't trapped in this game that we're trapped in. What game? This financial game. It's, all, it's all about the pieces of paper. It's all about love. That's what it's okay, about. Okay, hippie boy. All right, hey. Tell me I'm wrong. What does God do? He loves. Bam, oh, son, God. that's what it's about. Love thy neighbor as you love thyself. I thought you enjoyed the Matrix. You what? Thought you enjoyed the Matrix? No, I enjoy weed. The nine to five. <laughs> the nine to no, five. No, I fucking did. If I could never go to work again, I fucking would. I love telling my boss, like Joe, how about I just don't show up today? How about that one? This place sucks, you know. But you still show up. I like I like building and I like hanging out with my like my coworkers. They're fun dudes and they're, it's fun to build with, you know. But like, being a company, they do company fucking stupid decisions that you know. So let me put it this way. It's a bunch of educated people that work in a climate-controlled office that try to tell me, someone who works out in the elements, building their product, how to build their product. When they've never stepped foot on the roof to build the product in the first place. You kind of see my, like, aggravation with it? It's called management. It's called retarded. And <laughs> ass backwards. You're going to tell me how to do something, but you've never been in my shoes to do it yourself. It's just funny. Why don't you become management? Because I'm not a low life. <laughs> why are why is people in management low life? Hey, dude, just I don't know. It's it's funny when um I don't want to word this. Have you heard the term "work smarter, not harder"? Management's working smarter, so they don't have to work harder. No, it's really not, dude. Because that dude is there two hours before I show up and five hours after. He might have left the building, but he's still working. And screw that. I clock out, I clock out. My problems are done. You know? Yeah, I guess. See, he takes the he takes the company home, he takes the problem home because his name is on that deed. I mean, you get probably pretty compensated for that, so I wouldn't mind doing that either. With what? Paper? Yeah. Paper that gets you food and pays for things. You see why that's the type of game I mean is broken, is why I think it's stupid. Imagine if we still live like our ancestors live. Hunters, gatherers, gardening, you know, doing like that type of stuff. But no, we traded it in for a suit, a tie, a fucking paycheck, and a grocery store. Yippee. Well. The exact opposite of how humans were meant to live in nature. I mean, this what? concrete jungle. You have to play the game, then. Because if you don't, you're... I'd rather die. Well, you're here now. I'm enjoying the time I got and what no. I got. But I'd, uh... <laughs> Dude, I, I just... 
when the Lord comes back, there's going to be something better. Let's put it like that. Till then. Till then, I'll spark another. And patiently await his glorious return. Cheers, mate. (laughs) Hey, man. Don't knock it until you try it. (laughs) Oh, no. Um... All right, your first wish. We're still on this, man. You haven't thought of one yet? I told you what it was. All right, your second one. You didn't say your second one. I know. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. you no, know, it's your go. I know I said my second one. I want no, to... you didn't. Didn't I? No. no. Oh, wait, you might have, actually. Uh, now I don't even remember. I think it was the game. Play back the video. I think <laughs> it was the game. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. All right, see? Now you got to get me with your first still. No, not to play the game. <sighs> see, you're no fun. I don't do wishes. Like, oh, what's your this first is, it's wish? Not, it's not about Oh, the I w- want a pony. Bro, it's not about the... I want world peace. Like, time out, time out. I want out. nobody to be hungry. Like, why? Time out. I don't want to waste it's not energy a... to think about something that's not going to happen. That's the fun of it, though. It's just that's not fun. fun. It's just fun to think about and talk about something different. And what what else are we going to talk about? All right, you decide. I was just trying Shit to be... Shit that happens. <coughs> like what? <coughs> like what we were just talking about. Yeah, but we could still... I mean, we could still have a little, like, fun, like... Like a fantasy part of the conversation. What's your first wish? Oh, <laughs> that's your. I just like oh, that's your first fucking intuition. I've got a lot of ra- dude. I don't know. See, you haven't done enough drugs to hang with me. I guess oh, that's the problem. No. You don't think like I think. I got some mushrooms I don't, in there, bro. I don't. I you can, don't you, think I like. Them. I'll give you those, and in two hours you'll be fucking thinking so deep. You don't. Need, you'll be. You'll be freaking out. When you think about that your brain is inside your skeleton instead of like your skeleton is inside you. Think about <laughs> what it. What are you dude, on right so now? My coworker, oh, no. Okay, okay. My coworker broke oh, his fucking no. dude, 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 my coworker broke his leg and his fibula and tibula were both sticking outside of his fucking leg. No, 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 like, no, no. Stop. What is this brain thing? Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Because I was freaking out talking to him and I'm like, dude, your fucking bones were literally outside of you. And then he's like, Well, not really. And I'm like, not really. And I'm like, you're fucking right. You're the brain, and your brain is inside your skeleton, not the other way around. I was like, oh fuck. What cocaine are you on? Dude, right I was now? I took like two and a half grams of mushrooms. I was pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I can't wait I, to watch this for maybe like a year from now and watch this and be like, you were dumb. out of your goddamn gourd. Yeah. I can't even say back to you what you just said to me because it doesn't even make that much sense. Bro, it does make sense. I thought his bones were inside it him. It makes so much not sense. No, no, no. You're not thinking that, about like, it right. That, like, I can repeat it because it's so, like, left, like, not even in the field. I'm out in, like, the left, like, parking lot. <laughs> like, you know, you never left a store. Uh, you're in the de- defective not, section. Of I have Walmart. a lot of time on my hands to think deeply about things, and oh sometimes it's god. it's really down some rabbit holes. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I'm. T- I thought I was sitting there for I don't even know. How, I randomly blew an O without even just from lighting this thing. Um, you blew what? <laughs> it, I like I like lit it and it like had its own O ring go up. Um, I've had a lot of time to think about it. It just fucking it broke my brain when it happened though, and I've never really thought about the world the same since. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man, it was it was intense. It was an intense I don't even know how many couple hours. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <sighs> well, Peach Approach in the 24 minute. Be like a good half hour podcast. Pretty good. We've been sitting here that long. Yeah, it's been 25 minutes now. Cheers to that. Good 30 minute round podcast. I feel like these will be fun to rewatch. Probably. Except I hate the sound of my own voice. I hope <laughs> somebody comments and be like, Your friends are retarded? <laughs> I just hope they say something <laughs> funny. And I can just <laughs> screenshot it and send it to you and be like, This man's on another planet. He's not on Earth. No, uh uh-uh. uh. I don't want to go to Mars, though. That doesn't sound very fun. I know it's the only one you could possibly go to in the solar system, because, like, the other one's, like, too far, too cold. One's fucking just gas. So Mars is the only one, but I don't know. I'd rather stay here or just, you know. You are so goddamn big. End my time clock and have death walk me through the doors. Oh, no. 
<laughs> you were so big that you got damn mind. Not even close, man. I, I I don't think I can ever get over that. What you just said to me about the skeleton, dude. And... It's it's wild to think Your about. Your brain is the main center. Everything and, and else that's is you. Connected. That's you. You're in here. You're not this. You're you. Okay, when you leave, the the part of you that's in here goes on, but this little flesh sack just stays here. From dust you were born. From dust you return. But what you're saying are like two different when you break a bone. Yes, his it bone your... was, I was like, his bone was outside of him thinking like him is the body, but it's not because you're in here. You get what I mean? You just got to do the shrooms and then think about it and you'll get it. <coughs> God. I am, I can't, oh my lord, I'm trying, I, I can't even try to understand that because that is so like not. Do you want me to hook you up? No, you'll get I'm it. not hooking you'll, up. What time is it? At about 10.30 tonight, you'll start to understand. That's about <laughs> no, when that's it'll a, probably kick it in. It takes you that long? Yeah, yeah, if I eat something in a day, it takes a couple hours for them to kick in. But if I like fast all day and then I like eat them, they'll kick in within an hour. It's like strapped to a rocket. You're just like, <laughs> Dude, they're fun. I'm telling you, man. I paid forty bucks for those for us. Forty bucks. Yeah, Jesus that's God. it for those for those little ones. But it'll you're fucking gone. Unbelievable. It's awesome. I tried to play Valorant with it. I couldn't. <laughs> I legit. I, I my. I mean, my thinking and like my IQ was out of this world. But like touching stuff was weird. Aww. I don't know if you. I actually, you know what? Thinking about it, I don't think you can handle it. I don't, <laughs> I don't. think you. I don't think you can handle them. You probably couldn't. It's weird. It's like my head not hurts, but I can feel a verge of a headache coming because. Oh oh oh! I that, got medicine for that. That <laughs> that doesn't that did not make any sense. That I'm trying to like understand it and it doesn't make sense. So because you've never experienced it. So is this all you've ever done? An experience. Shrooms are quite the experience. Like you could microdose them, and then it's just like it's just like you're high on weed. Or you can do a good amount of them and get really fucking high. And then you're in for a ride. I went for a ride. How many times have you done that? Four? Four or oh, five? Lord, Jesus, fuck. Tomorrow will be five or six. I don't know. Whatever number it is. <laughs> Whatever number gonna, it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to obviously I'm gonna fast all day tomorrow. And then pop those about six o'clock tomorrow night. And then just fucking caffeine and... Off to the races, the brain goes. Oh, my God. Dude, okay. Those are just, like, weak mushrooms. Imagine what the Vikings had. Those motherfuckers took mushrooms, tripped balls, got in a sailboat, sailed across the fucking endless ocean to them, and then went and slaughtered people. Me thinking about my brain inside my own skeleton ain't that crazy now, is it? (laughs) See, I make good points. You just no, they're never the points you think I'm gonna make, though. No, I'm just thinking how goddamn (laughs) fucking (laughs) feet. No, no. I wish those trees were just a little shorter so I could see the sun fully. Oh, and you know there wasn't chemtrails in the fucking way. Well, boys and girls, I think that is gonna be a wrap for Shannon tonight. I am mentally fried now. Um, either from this conversation or the secondhand smoking, I am inducing and getting induced to it right now. So uh, you can make it firsthand if no, you want, pussy. We're, we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, <coughs> we will see you guys in the next one. Drop in the comments if you guys got any comments about Sean. Please make them funny. Is I'm that, always funny. Oh, oh no. you meant don't make them funny. Oh, no. I got you. All right, I'm talking oh, out. So I can send them off. He <laughs> just throws the mic. <laughs> um, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, if you guys got any video ideas, shoot them over. We'll do them. Uh, I'm trying to get these up once a week now. So uh, hope you guys enjoy the first one. We'll see you in many more. And if you guys haven't already, check the last YouTube video below. Um, that was me and my girlfriend. Just kind of a light introduction to her. She's going to be in some videos that we're going to be doing. And then... Next year around this time, I plan on being in Germany. So uh, we'll see you all from a different country. So it's be kind of a nice little vid- video podcast slash vlog slash whatever the hell it's going to be for the rest of whatever this is. So thank you guys for kind of sticking along. See you in the next one.